Epilogue. Dad? Mom? I'm currently being taken away by some strange men in black clothes. Where to? I don't know. I don't believe we can ever meet again, so please, take good care of yourselves. My name is Hayato Takatsugi. Only a few days ago, I was an ordinary third-year male high school student. There was of course a reason why things ended this way. My family was impoverished to the point where even putting food on the table every day was difficult. The reason was because both my parents became joint guarantors and got into debt. My parents are exceptionally good-natured, to the point where whenever they saw someone in trouble, they simply couldn't let it slide. Because of this, they always got the short end of the stick. But despite this, I never once hated, held any grudges, or despised my parents for it. On the contrary, I really loved seeing my parents, who always tried so hard to do something for the sake of other people. However, having that said, reality was harsh on us. That's why I secretly did part-time jobs to support our family's expenses, even though it was against the school rules. However, one day, the homeroom teacher found out, and I was instantly handed a red card. This is commonly referred to as an expulsion order! Just what the hell is this?! The plans I had to become a full-time worker after high school graduation were completely crushed with despair. What? This is the end of me! My life is screwed! My future! It's completely black! In my frustration, I dashed up to my room the minute I returned home. Without me there to support my family finances, this household is gone! If that's the case, I took a selfie with my smartphone and uploaded the photo to a flea market website. If things are going to go to rot anyways, I at least want to leave some money for the parents who raised me for all these years. I attempted to get hold of 3 million yen in exchange for my body. Let's go. It's my turn. Time to draw. There's no way anyone would be willing, right? There's no way anyone would be willing to pay 3 million yen just to buy some rando from nowhere. Huh? With an instant decision, I was already auctioned off. Are you serious? I went to the place specified by the message, which was sent to me through the flea market app. I thought it was some sort of prank at first, but out of curiosity, I decided to check it out anyways. I'm glad that this was the specified place. Are you Hayato Takasugi? Yes, that's me. And who may you be? On the buyer's commands, we arrived here to collect you. Please, board that car over there. These are definitely some bad people. I've got to get out of here! I instantly did a right turn and began sprinting away. But I couldn't get away from the strongly built men in black, who, with nimble movements, recaptured me within seconds. Even though you were bought with the appropriate procedures, you still try to run away. We are not impressed at all. The purchase procedures have already been completed, so all the rights belong to us now. No! I'll return the payment to you, so please, undo the contract! There's no cooling off period included in this contract. You misused that term! With none of my questions answered, I was forced into the limousine. Which takes us to the present. As I thought, was the destination a tuna fishing boat? Or is it for some slave labor to build an underground empire? No matter what it is, my life is over, isn't it? Father, mother, please. Forgive me for any misfortune that follows. When I came to, we had arrived in front of a rather grand door. My lady, we've brought it here. Good work. Please guide him inside. A woman's voice? The buyer is a woman? The moment I entered, I felt speechless. It was... It was a beauty. Nice to meet you. My name is Aoi Hanba. Ah, Nice to meet you. My name is Hayato Takasugi. Thank you for purchasing me. Just what am I saying? Don't be fooled by appearances, dude. She may be a beauty, but what is she thinking? It's definitely ruthless without a doubt. What do you plan to do with me? As expected, do you plan to put me on a tuna fishing ship? Or put me through back-breaking slave labor to build some sort of underground empire until I break and die? I wouldn't do anything like that. After all that trouble I went through to attain you, to think that I would ever dream of letting you go, I thought of having you serve me as my butler. Butler, you say? But I've never had any experience in doing that sort of work. That's fine. You just have to stay by my side and take personal care of me. That's all I expect. Is that really it? 
Yes, I am satisfied with just that. Of course, it's all very simple of tasks, so please be assured. The girl named Aoi showed me a light-hearted smile. I understand. Anyhow, I'm someone you bought for 3 million yen, so I will obey you, Hanba-sama. So what should I do? That's true. For today, I'll have you sort my affairs in order. As for your room, I'll have Wakizaka escort you later and help you get dressed. Ah, uh, Hanba-sama, that way of addressing me is rather rigid, so please call me by my name. But to address my master by their first name casually is a little... Then your master is commanding you to do so. Please call me Aoi. I understand. Then I'll call you Aoi-san. That's perfect! Ah, that's right! I forgot to tell you something important! I adjusted things so that you could return to high school normally. So, from tomorrow, please go back as usual. Huh? I can go back to school again? But then, what about my job as your butler? That can be done when you're off school. That's why, for now, please prioritize your studies. Then I don't think there's any meaning for you to buy me for 3 million yen, right? I'm glad that I can return to school, but the sense of caution welled up in me once again. My head was a mess of whether her intentions were genuine or not. That's true. I want you to properly graduate high school and become a proper adult. That's right, right. For now, please take a rest. I think there'll be a lot going on for you starting from tomorrow. After that, I was escorted into my own room and became lost in my own thoughts. Just what sort of intentions did Aoi-san have when purchasing me? That was the biggest mystery, but of course, no matter how hard I thought about it, no answer came. In that way, the night passed, and my new life began. From the next day, I resumed my life at school. From Aoi-san's mansion to my high school, I took the train, then the bus, before arriving on campus. From my old place, I was able to commute by bus only, so it did take a bit more time but it wasn't that much of a pain. Because the place was further away, Aoi-san suggested to give me a ride by limousine, but I politely declined that offer. Aoi-san seemed a bit displeased at that, saying that if I did take up her offer, we could at least be together halfway, but it couldn't be helped, since going to school by limousine would make me stand out a bit too much, even more so if there was a beautiful girl sitting next to me. When I arrived home from school, that was the time when my job as Aoi-san's butler began. Even if it was called being a butler, most of the work was just chatting with Aoi casually. Through that, I began to know Aoi more, bit by bit. Aoi-san was six years older than me, being 24 years old. After graduating university, she began working at the company which her father ran. In the future, it seemed like she was on the way to become an executive level employee, and there were many things she needed to learn. It seemed tough for her. By complaining to me about her work frustrations and failures to me, it was a source of stress relief for her. Even though that was my main job, I still received a salary. When I saw my passbook, I saw sums of money deposited into my account, which made me going, Are you really serious? I was slightly weirded out. I decided to leave most of my family for home, sending it back to my parents. For myself, living, clothes, and food were provided free of charge so just the minimal amount was enough. Of course, there were other tasks besides just being a conversational partner. Tidying up Aoi-san's room, moving her luggage, being her personal shopper, organizing her books and documents, tasks like that. Those were all simple tasks, which just anybody could do, so I mastered them with ease. But the one thing which troubled me was the room tidying. Aw oh, man, it's all cluttered up today too. Maybe it was because Aoi-san was so busy with work, but there were times when she couldn't spend any time tidying up her room. This was supposedly the time where the butler stepped in to do his job, but this level of clutter was absolutely staggering! Well, if that's the case, let's quickly get this tidying over and done with. <laughs> this is Aoi-san's... <laughs> yes, this is the thing which made me feel troubled. This was the only thing which I just couldn't get used to, no matter how much I tried. Even if it's just this. Please, put this away properly. No, this is mere cloth. Cloth! While trying to convince myself, I folded up the bits of cloth. Because of that, I felt that the ability of my mind's eye had been trained. By the way, I swear to God, 
I never ever tried to do anything like wear them or sniff them. In that way, my daily life turned 180 degrees and continued to become more and more fulfilling. But I was faced with a big problem. That was no less than studying. Unfortunately, I was much slower than everyone else when it came to studying. The reason was because up until now, I had always spent the time I was supposed to be spent on studying on working my part-time jobs. Because of that, even though I had gotten the chance to go back to school, there was still no guarantee that I could graduate without a hitch. So from there, I started study sessions with Aoi-san. That began from Aoi-san's suggestions and were run on our days off. Over there, you use that formula. Oh, I see. So it becomes like that. Aoi-san had a very good way of teaching, so even the dim-witted me could understand the material easily. Aoi-san is really kind, and to top it off, she's really beautiful. To be able to have study sessions with just the two of us together? I really am too lucky. Hayato-kun, what are you spacing out for? Focus, focus! Hayato-kun, do your best. If you do your best, I'll give you a reward. Reward? Yes, a reward. On the spot, my heart started beating faster. Uh, by reward? Could you mean something like that? Something like this? B -b 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 something like... Uh, let's give it our all. Let's do it. Do it! Do it! Do it! Ah! My motivational switch was turned on. Yes, men are simplistic creatures. Uh, I'm done. I'm burnt out. I'm completely burned out. Good work. Then I'll give you the reward I promised. Please, go ahead. You don't have to be so nervous. Come on, loosen up. There's nothing to be scared of. Yes. Contrary to her words, I stiffened up. In other words, I got scared, Miss Aoi. Here you go. To the Hayato-kun who's always working hard. A present for you. Is this... a necklace? Happiness and disappointment crossed over me in confusion. Could it be that... You were anticipating a different present? No! If Hayato-kun prefers that sort of present, I'll think about it, but... No, no, this is plenty enough already. Thank you very much, Aoi-san. I'm very, very happy. I'm glad. Think of it as me, and wear it close to your skin. This is also an order from your master. Even if you don't order me to do so, I'll always keep it with me. Thank you very much. Never forget to wear it, okay? The next Sunday... Hayato-kun, Hayato-kun, wake up! That voice... Aoi-san... Could it be some urgent business? The moment I slowly opened my eyes, my sleepiness instantly disappeared. Uh, Aoi-san! What's with your uniform? I found my old school uniform, so I tried wearing it. How is it? I can still pass for a high school girl, right? Well, you can definitely still pass for one- Wait, that's not the point! The thing I wanted to ask is, why you're wearing a uniform? You're definitely not wearing it to show it off to me, right? Of course, that's not my only reason. It's because we're going on a school uniform day from now on. So, Hayato-kun too. Go get changed into your school uniform. In that sequence of events, I abruptly went out on a school uniform date with Aoi-san. Hayato-kun! Hurry, hurry! Aoi-san, the game center won't run away or anything. Even if the game center won't run away, our daytime will disappear, so hurry up! Aoi and I went around to various places. We started with the game corner, then we went off to the bowling alley, then the cinema, then the karaoke place, etc. From start to finish, Aoi-san showed an innocent smile on her face. Seeing that look on Aoi, my heart started beating faster without me even realizing it. That enjoyable time we spent together passed by in a flash, and before we knew it, the sky above us was stained with the crimson of evening. Aoi-san and I went to a riverbed, which was slightly separated from the main road. The gentle breeze which swept by suddenly made me feel surprisingly at ease. Hayato-kun... Yes? A momentary silence passed. My gaze was completely transfixed by Aoi's eyes. Hayato-kun, I like you. Hayato-kun, 
From the moment I met you, I began liking you. That's why... Please, go out with me! Aoi-san... Aoi-san is confessing to me? Is this a dream? An unbelievable scene had unfolded in front of me. But this was undoubtedly reality now. My body began trembling slightly in response to my buzzing heart. Uh, as if! I was just kidding, just kidding! In my student years, I had always longed for this sort of scenario. So I wanted to try it out. That's all! Uh, a joke? Huh? Right. Aoi-san could never fall in love with someone of such low caste like me. What was I even hoping for? Stop making some weird misunderstandings, you dumb self! Even while thinking that, for some reason, I couldn't help but feel a sense of loneliness. Oh, I'm so sorry for shocking you. It's gotten a bit cold now, so <laughs> let's get going. Aoi-san turned her back to me and began walking away. From the day of the school uniform date, I strangely started paying more attention to Aoi-san. Honestly speaking, it took great lengths for me to even maintain my composure when I was face to face with her. On a certain day after I'd gotten into that state of mind... Did you hear the news? See the news about Mistress Aoi's engagement? I heard about it too. It's got to be towards the son of that famous Yotsubishi company, right? Aoi-san's engagement? That's the first time I'm hearing about this. A shock ran through me, as if I was struck by lightning. Is that story true? Yes! It's kind of like... This sort of talk has been going behind the scenes from just around over a year ago. Is... is that so? I guess that's right. If Aoi-san already has an engagement partner, then my job as her butler is already complete, I suppose. When I found out about the news, I returned to my room, packed up my belongings, and left the mansion. In normal circumstances, I would have said my goodbyes. I knew that was the thing I should have done, but it was just too painful to meet Aoi-san. Therefore, I left a letter of gratitude and the savings I had kept until then. The money was my celebratory gift to Aoi-san for her wedding. Well, let's see. What should I do from now? I did give a fair amount of money to my parents, so in that respect, I think it should be alright for the time being. For the time being, I decided to stop at the next station. As I was thinking about the future while exiting the station gates, it was in that moment where I dropped the Boston bag I was carrying. Uh, Aoi-san? Why are you here? What is the meaning of this, I ask? To leave your own accord without asking permission from your master first? I'm sorry! Uh, wait, wait up! There's no sort of idiot who would wait after being told to wait up! I don't know what sort of dissatisfaction you have, but you won't be able to escape from me, Hayato-kun! I have not even the slightest bit of intention to let go of Hayato-kun, who I went through such great lengths to obtain! Because Hayato-kun and I were most definitely bound to each other by the unbreakable red strings of fate! <laughs> Hayato-kun, do your very best to escape, because no matter where you go, Older sister will always come back and chase after you. I ran away with all my might, but no matter where I went, Aoi-san always was a step ahead. Why did she know my whereabouts? It was as if I had a GPS installed on me. Wait, could it be? I sort of guessed it, but it was already too late. From blindly continuing to try to run away, my bodily strength had reached its limit. The last place I escaped to was a small park. <sighs> Of course, already standing there in front of me was Aoi-san, with an easy expression on her face. Aoi-san, you don't need me anymore, right? You already got a fiancé. Can't, can't you just continue to be supported by that person from now on? Fiancé? I don't have a fiancé, though. Oh, don't lie to me. I heard it from the maids. They told me that you're getting engaged to the son of the Yotsubishi household, right? Ah, that story, right? I already rejected them. I already told my dad that I had someone in my heart already, and that I wasn't planning on getting married to anyone except for them. Even then, you don't need me, right? You can just continue to be supported by that person from now on, right? Of course, that's what I plan on doing. That's why I want you to come back with me, Hayato-kun. That's why I won't be your butler anymore. Wait, 
What does that mean? Yes, the person my heart has decided on is you, Hayato-kun. Huh? Why me? That's because Hayato-kun is my savior. It seems like Hayato-kun doesn't remember, but we did meet once in the past six years ago, at the riverbed we visited in our school uniform date. Aoi-san started telling me the events of that day, little by little. When Aoi-san was 15 years old, due to a fire caused by unknown reasons, she lost her parents and was taken in by her adoptive parents. Being emotionally worn down by the death of her parents, she couldn't get along with her new adoptive parents and became rebellious. At the time, the person who called out to me who was moping at the riverbed was you, Hayato-kun. According to Aoi, I nosily pestered her, asking what was wrong. She thought of me as someone annoying, but told me everything on her mind then. Something along the lines of, someone like you wouldn't understand, the feeling of being raised by someone not connected with you by blood. At the time, Hayato-kun answered me like this, I'm the same as you, older sister, so I understand. So at times like these, it's okay to state your feelings plainly and clearly, because I have the same sort of worries. So, so I know that if you do things that way, things will get better. That's what you said to me. To the Aoi-san who was in the same situation, my words were like a ray of light, which pierced into her world of closed darkness. On that same day, she told her adoptive mother and father about the anxieties she had been carrying inside of her up until that day. Her adoptive parents told her that even if they weren't connected by blood, she was still their own irreplaceable daughter. At that time, maybe because I was a kid, I was able to reach the depths of Aoi-san's heart. Hayato-kun, let me say it one more time. I like you. I love you. That's why. Please, return to my side. Please, walk down the same future with me. If you're fine with me, then I'd be glad to. Because I like you too, Aoi-san. Hayato-kun! Aoi-san dived towards me. I'm so happy. I'll definitely never let go of you again. It's okay. I'll definitely continue to be on your side. Don't try to run away again, okay? Well, even if you try to run away, I'll catch you straight away. That'll happen, I guess. Uh, I forgot to tell you something. I'm the type who likes to be around a person they like 24-7. That's why if you ignore me, I'll put you on restraints. So remember that, okay? Uh, is that the case? Yes, that's why please fuss over me as much as you can. From now on, every single day, let's sleep together. Let's go into the bath together. Let's kiss in the mornings, afternoons, and evenings. And then, and then... Wait up. Is all of that the quota for every day? Yes, that's also an order from your master. Do you perhaps dislike it? It's not that I hate it, but doing it every day is a little embarrassing. How do I say it? Then, there's no problem, right? So I'll write a to-do list of what to do next time and give it to you. Right. Got it. If things turn out like this, then there's no choice but to obey. The master's orders are absolute. Three years passed after that. I managed to pass high school successfully and now work as the butler and secretary for Aoi-san, who has recently been appointed as vice president of her company. Every day is busy, but it's fulfilling for me. There's just this one thing which bothers me a little. Vice President, I've adjusted the schedule for next week. Good work. With that, our morning's work is over, right? For lunch, would you like to eat together? Before that, we have something to do, right? The Vice President, no, Aoi-san, close her eyes. You haven't given me my afternoon kiss, right? If you don't give me my afternoon kiss, I can't do my afternoon work. Mwah! Why are you talking like Pikachu? Oh my, and here it goes again. Well, this side of Aoi-san is cute too, but... Uh, so I instantly responded to Aoi-san's request. <laughs> I received my afternoon kiss. Then, for my afternoon hug too. Yes, yes, I've got it. In that way, we became complete lovebirds. But for us to become big enough to go down in history, that happened several years later. Well, I'll leave that story for another time. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? 
please check out our other videos as well.